Well, holy gun smoke, Batman. Holy gun smoke. They've caught John Hunt Morgan. That son of a bitch. The lightning bolt of the Confederacy. Lightning bolt of the Confederacy caught Salineville, Ohio. Salineville, July 26, 1863. That's the Battle of the Moncada Barracks. It's Che Guevara and Fidel Castro. Uh, it's 26th of July movement. They tried to overthrow Cuba. And they said, ah, history will avenge us. And then they go chill in Mexico for a couple months. And then they come back and then they take it all over. They probably should have uh, kept that guy in jail. You know, they probably should have listened to Fidel Castro. They tried to overtake a military barracks. They got arrested. And then during the trial, he was sitting there saying that history, history shall absolve him. So apparently the people, this, you know, you try to overtake a military you know, consolation, the people forgive you. It's like, he's got a can-do attitude. He has gumption. That that man over there has got some initiative, intuition. And in July 26, 1863, Confederate Raider John Hunt Morgan surrenders his exhausted force of 364 men captured at Salineville, Ohio. 1863, this is in the middle of the thing. During a spectacular raid on the north, Starting in July 1862, four major raids on northern held territory. They were limited strategic significance. The raids served as a boost to southern morale, and they captured much-needed supplies. Morgan's fourth raid began on July 2, 1863, when he and 2,400 troopers left Tennessee, headed for the Ohio River. He hoped to divert the attention of Union Commander William Rose Crans, who was driving for Chattanooga, Tennessee. Morgan reached for the river, reached the river July 8th using stolen steamboats to ferry his force across to Indiana. For the next two and a half weeks, Morgan rampaged through Indiana and Ohio, feigning towards Cincinnati, then riding across southern Ohio. His force met little resistance, scattered local militias who, who faced them. With Union cavalry in hot pursuit, Morgan headed for Pennsylvania. For more than a week, Morgan and his troops... Spent 21 hours per day in the saddle at Pomeroy, Ohio. Morgan lost over 800 men when the Yankees caught up with him and captured a large part of his force. He and the remaining members of his command were forced to uh, further north. And then on July 26th, the exhausted men surrendered. So they already got 800 men. And what are they saying? They captured them. They captured a large part. Are they saying they killed 800 men. So the, they were chasing him. He's sitting there burning houses down and shit in Indiana and Ohio. They're like, wait a second. We thought the fighting was going to be just down in the south. He took the fighting up to the north. Morgan and his, and his officers are going to get sent to the Ohio State Penitentiary. And he's going to escape November 27th. So he is only captured for a couple of months. He escapes that damn John Hunt Morgan. July 26, 1863, he was captured. So... He is not impervious. He is not immortal. He's not a god. He can be caught. He can be captured. Clement Lord Vallandingham, leader of the Peace Democrats, that is not important. Despite a huge mine explosion, come on. William Clark Quantrill. Here's a burial party on the battlefield of Cold Harbor, April 1865. Just reminiscing, reminiscing on the Second American Civil War. August 1st, that's going to be the next thing right there. Sheridan is going to be named the general of the Shenandoah Valley. Philip J. Sheridan. No, Philip H. Sheridan. Hoobastink, horse, horse face, horse radish, 